I want to do a quick flip through on journaling by fives. Um, step three, which consists of stencils and stamps. I went a little haywire here, and I think other people did, right? <laughs> Somewhere in the middle, we start getting the categories confused. Um, so I went through with stamps, and I wanted to use my little elephant here, which is the oldest stamp I have. I've had it since I was uh, 9, 8, 7, pretty young. Um, and uh, that and a little clown, and I used the little clown a lot in college on lithographs. Anyway, I wanted to use that all the way through as well as my little chop. So I went through doing that using stamps. Um, I, that I did not put in at the time. Um, and uh, it took a while. This ink is hard to dry, which is good. And I had some disastrous results. So I realized this one is mostly an image here. And these are words, Chinese. Okay, so this was to be pattern. I put a bunch of leaves back in here, and they were, they're not very good, and they just looked like a mess. So I rubbed those out. Okay. And it started with this one. I decided it would be really nice to use my stamp of a bunch of feathers sort of floating around and then put the leaves up here. This is something that I decided in advance. Um, and I think that that perhaps was not a very good idea. <laughs> because part of the reason for this project is to not overthink things. So what I decided to do when I was uh, just getting my stamps prepared was I noticed that the first five had pieces of corrugated cardboard or brown paper. And then I was I had the leaves and feathers. And then I had a doily. And then I had a border. And I thought, well, I'm going to do sections and kind of do a repeat there where, you know, each of these has something of that cardboard in it. So that's where this whole leaf thing came from. And I had started with... Uh, this one was kind of central to the whole idea. Well, it's a mess, and it's going to take a lot of extra work. Um, but anyway, it's a really nice little batch of leaves. It was supposed to look like a leaf and storm with feathers and leaves blowing around. So then those went. the feathers went into this one, and again, they turned into pretty much of a mess, so I wiped them out and the next one I got some on there I might be able to do a little something with pencil with those and uh, let's see this one came out okay but again there was a whole bunch of stuff on here that I went back through and wiped out after the 15 minutes, I wiped those out. Okay, just a little bit of stamping on this one. So I'm getting a little bit, you know, lost here. And um, I got lost messing with the, with the rubber stamps because the rubber stamps, the ones that I wound up using, are actually images and weren't really giving me that much in terms of pattern. So then I got to the end of my 15 minutes and I didn't have any of my stenciling done and this was a key component of it. I, I mentioned in advance that I had the doily on here and then I was going to paint on it again and then peel off the part that wasn't stuck down and then use the doily stencil as a motif for um, those five pages. Well, at the end of the 15 minutes, I hadn't done any of that, and I didn't have much in the way of pattern, and these were looking paltry, and 
there. So I reset the timer and I went back and I did some of these and at the same time messed up some of the stamps because this ink still isn't dry and I think I did the stamping two days ago. It's this kind of ink. It's good. But you have to let it sit. There it is. And cure. Oh, by the way, I got these ink, uh, uh, little stamps at Michaels or Aaron Brothers. They, they carry from the same place. And they're really nice. I actually only tried the white one to see. Figured that would be the diciest. And it's good and juicy, and they're very nice. And um, I don't know a lot about using stamps. I can do prints, but yeah. anyway. So then I thought, okay, okay. Then this group, I thought, well, I'm going to do something with the border. So this is another thing I had to go back in. So I went back in with the paint, and the paint for stencils was something that I had planned in advance. And I was happy to come back and do it because it really ties them together. And this was another thing I had planned in advance. I said, yeah, I have a snowflake stencil, so I'm going to go do some snowflake stencil on that snowflake tissue that looks like California. So that's what I did there. And that wound up taking... Um, 11 minutes. Another thing I did was I had had these pasted in in the collage part and I painted over them and then I picked them off and repasted them for part of my stenciling. So there's some of that in here. So this is number 20 and I did stick the cat stamps in as part of images and words. Got a few words stuck in a few few images. Um, and this is my extra number 21 on the way to the dentist. I found this great tag, a real tag, off of a fire hydrant, I mean a fire extinguisher, inspection dates. Mm -hmm. And this is, I don't know, but it was, there's 21 under there, and I do have... A saying of my own that's going to go in here, which is just because you can't see it doesn't mean it isn't there. It applies to so many things. I thought of some more prompts too. Uh, found objects or, or, or ephemera that you actually pick up on the street uh, because of this. I pick up a lot of stuff on the street and I need to find my stash of it because... I don't have a lot of that. Uh, I mean, I do have a lot of that, but it's been put away. I don't haven't had it for doing this kind of uh, multimedia. And then while I was going back through trying to figure out, oh no, how am I going to save these? And adding the time up. Here's another one where I peeled off what had been a part of the collage, and I like the way that came out. And then my, you know, my elephants are special for memories, and I had gotten these up at Big Lots. I just love these little elephant paper clips. I'm going to leave a few of them in here to go with these. These are those um, dandelions that have really <laughs> had a, this is female spirit or goddess there. Um, I was going to say something else, but I don't remember what. Something about what I went back to do. Um, I like this one. Oh, the memory stuff. So um, here, with a fond memory, I, well, I was just picking things up, trying to... Um, this is all about trying to get rid of stuff. So I picked this up, and this was a really nice a little brochure on um, Alzheimer's. And some checklists and stuff. So I thought I'd just throw that in on this facing page. And there's one other one that I threw something in. Oh, a friend of ours who was a, a fireman uh, had a memorial benches dedicated in Griffith Park with a run and we went to this fire station and uh, for 
part of his memorial, and I picked this up there. It was really, really a nice thing. It's a, in Hollywood. I believe it's on Vermont Avenue in Hollywood. Yeah, it's very close to um, that big uh, uh, theater there where they have the Academy Awards. It's right around the corner from that. And it's a restored firehouse with lots of displays in it. It's really, really interesting. And it's only open on weekends, I think, from 10 o'clock to 4 or something. But it's really nice. Anyway, yes, the Los Angeles Fire Department Historical Society. So I think that's all. Uh, it should, I've talked more. But I just wanted to say, you know, I'm getting into a little, little problem with planning ahead now. And I, I think all of us are. And now I'm looking at, what am I going to do in 15 minutes with pencils? These things are in massive need of help. So I am going to go back through. I'm just going to maybe not do every page working with a pen or a pencil. Just try to bring something back around. And then I'm going to go back to the paints and uh, maybe clean some backgrounds up a little bit. Because I don't really know what I'm wanting, but I'm starting to see a little bit of a theme develop. So, uh, something. All right. Thank you for looking at my stuff and um, appreciating. So, yeah, that was actually stages three and four combined. So, what happened here, let me go through it. So I'm keeping on the time frame. I had to figure out how I wanted to, but I did 15 here. I did 15 collage and recycle. I did 15 minutes on the stencils and stamps, but I didn't get to the stencils. I was just fiddling around with the stamps. So I reset the timer, and I did 11 minutes with the stencils, and I had 3 minutes and 51 seconds left over. So um, after all the stencils dried, I think I, yeah, I went back in, and I used the rest of that timer to do a little bit of cleanup and grab a few things and um, make sure that every page had gotten something. This this page, yeah, so I made sure that the little kitty went in. And that was an advanced planning, too. So, mm -hmm. so there. So, again, thanks. And uh, this is fun. And this is coming along. All right. This isn't part of it. This is part of my other pages. There. I like this one a lot. So I think I'm going to go take some pen and fiddle around in here because it looks like a, a bouquet of some wisteria or some of those multi-bloom plants to me. So fiddle around with that. And this also looks like a real funny kind of bouquet, like a magician's bouquet. <laughs> and let's see, I know this one... Uh, looks like a tree to me so I can do some stuff with that yeah a lot are lacking a focal point and those that are have a focal point but <laughs> everything else is a mess <laughs> so, <laughs> but this is really fun I am trusting in the process I think this is you know like any any journey it's in the middle it's like well I'm halfway there it's too late to turn back now <laughs> and I think it happened to other people so I'm just putting in a little note of encouragement and and laughing at, at ourselves and I really appreciate looking at everybody else's videos this is just so much fun for me I, I think yeah I think my hand's been in front of the microphone the whole time <laughs> but this is really fun for me and it's a great chance to um share work and communicate because there are those of us that communicate by pictures very well and that's what we're doing here and I appreciate the community. Take care.